Hello, hello, happy Monday and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, I am the Nurse Flipper. I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. And every Monday I like to show you exactly what I sold over the weekend. This weekend we sold about $1,100 on eBay and we also have $300 going out on Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. So we had sales on all the platforms we sell on and I am excited to show them to you right now. So there are some really, really good items going out today. Most of these are bread and butter, so they're in that $10, $15, $20 range, but a lot of them sold really fast. And then we do have one pretty, pretty significantly high profit as well. So first up is actually a longa burger basket. So this basket, they messaged me on eBay, asked me if it had both liners. I just had a picture of it like this. They were wanting to know if it had this single liner, which it does, and the insert. So I wrote them back this morning, let them know that it did have both. They immediately purchased it, and it's a little heart-shaped jewelry basket, and it is marked. This one sold for $17, plus the buyer paid 10 and shipping. I paid about $8 for this, so it's going to be about a six dollar profit all right this next one is going out to a viewer it is going out to miss darlene so miss darlene thank you so much she bought the robe and when i went to pull this i was like there's an amazing matching nightgown so i did message her and say hey would you like the nightgown as well which she did so i accepted an offer of 25 on the nightgown it was 41 per piece so she did pay 41 for the robe and I took a best offer of 25 on the nightgown so let me show you these and this is a great brand of vintage nightgowns if you do not know and these are this absolutely amazing peach color and if you see the lace the more lace detail on these typically the more profitable they are and this one is shadow line there is the tag shadow line extra large I got these for a dollar each and they are so 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 amazing they did take about six months to sell so together she paid 66 for the set and it's going to be about a 50 dollars profit after fees so there's your nightgown i wanted to show her the color because the color on my pictures really did not show how absolutely beautiful this is and then here is the matching robe same lace absolutely beautiful beautiful piece you can see it sheer there so if you are outsourcing definitely look at the nightgown section because there can be a lot of profit there and again miss darlene thank you so much for your purchase i greatly appreciate it next is a three dollar item three dollars but it's a little disposable shopping bag i got this in an fsu lot i used to buy a lot of them and I paid less than 50 cents so it's about a $2.50 to $3 profit and it took two years to sell so it was not a fast seller. All right up next is going out to a viewer as well. This is going out to Miss Deb and this is an amazing amazing purse. If you do not know the brand Sack Roots is a great brand to pick up and sell. There is the tag. This purse is like brand new. I just picked it up and my thrifting video I put out on Saturday, Ms. Deb picked it up for $28. I paid four for this, so it's gonna be about a 15 to $17 profit after fees. So Ms. Deb, thank you so much. She buys a lot from me, a lot, and I really, really do appreciate it. Now, if you're wondering, wait a minute, you didn't put a thrifting video out on Saturday. I did put a thrifting video out on Saturday. I have a new YouTube channel. If you have not seen, I have posted about it as well as put it out in my newsletter. The name of the new channel is Cat's Treasure Hunting and it is only for thrifting. I am simply thrifting for fun and to make videos. I am 
selling pretty much everything I find unless it's big or breakable. So Miss Donna picked up that thrifting box. I will tell you guys, I spent 80. I sold it to Miss Donna for 100 plus shipping and she should make several hundred dollars off it. So if you're not subscribed, go over to Cat's Treasure Hunting Channel, subscribe. I will be doing one video a week on Saturdays and every video will have at least one thrift box for sale to you because I do not need the inventory. I am simply thrifting for fun and to make videos for you. Up next might be a case of mistaken identity. So my listers, I tell them to measure everything, but they don't always do it. And in this case, they didn't. And I thought this was an ice bucket. Do you see how little, I mean, it looks like a little ice bucket, but I think it's more like for sugar cubes or something like that. I really don't think it's for ice. So I have reached out to the buyer and asked them if they still want to purchase it because there were no measurements given, but this is not an ice bucket. So my lister didn't put the measurements. I didn't have the item in hand, assumed it was a regular size ice bucket and it was not. So I am waiting on that buyer to see if they're going to follow through with this. It did sell for $29.72 plus they paid $9.90 in shipping. So I'm only a couple dollars into this. I bought in a big buyout and it will be about a $25 profit if they do end up still purchasing it. All right, up next is some weight and these are for like a pharmaceutical scale whoa I didn't expect them to open that fast this set is not complete it is missing some I did notate that the brand on this one is Imer and Amen and this little box of weight sold for $41.99 I am less than a dollar into this and it is going to be about a $35 profit I got this in a drawer of linens so a lot of times on online auctions they will show you like a dresser or something and say okay you get all the contents that is what this was that i bid on and i like linens but i didn't know under the linens were tons of scale weights and they provided to be pretty valuable and i only paid five dollars for the whole dresser full of linens and these weights and this set of weights sold really fast. It sold in under two weeks. Up next, if you're not looking at ephemera, I think ephemera is a great thing. This is Millilax Lake. It's just a little kind of informational brochure. It is older. It has a list of the local churches, plus the advertisement. This one I paid less than a dollar and a lot, and it sold for $10.49 in about two months. So it's going to be about an $8 profit, and the buyer did pay $4.75 in shipping. And then we have a license plate. Not very many license plates going out this week. So the further we get away from listing the big bulk lots, like the license plates and the Harley pens, the fewer and fewer sales there will be because the most popular ones will sell pretty fast and then the sales will kind of trickle in on the rest. So this is a Missouri truck plate from 1973. It sold for $13.99 and it is going to be about a $10 profit and it sold in about a month and a half. The buyer did pay six in shipping. Up and next, this is a beautiful little like dresser center piece. It's got the crocheted edges and this one I paid a dollar. It sold in under two months for $10. So it is going to be about a $6 profit and the buyer did pay five in shipping. Did you hear the bell? Next is a bell. This is a really cool horseshoe mount brass bell. It does have the original pull string which is kind of cool close your ears oh my fingers on it okay so this I got a lot of bells for about $60 this one sold for 20 there were about 30 bells so I'm about two dollars in and this one's going to be about a $14 profit and it did sell in under a month up next, this is really cool glass ornament. This is a blown glass bulb. It does say Daytona Beach, Florida. It's got the little lighthouse there. It's got shells. It's got sand in it. It's really cute. What I like is it has a flat base, so it could sit on a table as kind of a display, or it can be hung as an ornament. This one I paid less than a dollar. It sold for 14 and under a month, and it's going to be about a $10 profit. 
Next is this really, really cool mid-century modern drip glaze vase. Look at the colors on this. This is absolutely beautiful. I love pottery, especially drip glaze. This one is signed. I believe it is a studio otter pottery piece not by a known artist sold for $27.98 I paid two dollars so it's about a $20 profit and it sold in about four months up next is a longer burger bowl basket this one's really cool it does have the actual bowl inside with a lid and this one I paid about eight dollars for it sold for $31.49 so it's going to be about an $18 to $20 profit here is the bottom of this bowl so the signature on these bowls is actually on the inside of the bowl there not on the bottom like it is on most of the baskets and this one did sell in under a month and the buyer did pay 10.85 in shipping this will fit perfect in a number seven usps box which is a free box if you're new to reselling go to usps.com buy some priority may or buy they're free don't order some usps priority mail supplies especially with q4 actually it's right now you want to make sure you have enough boxes and if you can get free boxes that definitely decreases your business cost and they have quite a few different sizes that you can get for free just remember you do have to ship priority mail with them all right this next sale is cool it was five i'm just going to show you two it was these cool Nexium pads. I did get these from George the Antique Nomad at an estate sale he ran. I think I paid 50 cents each, so I'm about $2.50 in. They sold for $34.98. The buyer did pay 10 in shipping. I will ship these in a free USPS padded flat rate envelope. So they are going to be over $25 profit, and they sold in about four months. And then we have a Harley pen this harley pen sold for 17 dollars and 48 cents i paid a dollar so this one's about a 14 dollar profit and it took about three and a half to four months to sell up next is some more longa burger but it is not baskets it is accessories so if you do not know longa burger accessories sell just as well as the baskets and i was lucky enough i bought over 400 pieces of accessories for about a dollar each so i'm a dollar into these and the first one to sell is this little striped basket liner and there you can see it does say liner for candle berry red stripe and this one sold for $10.49 so it is about a $7.50 profit buyer did pay $4.70 in shipping and it would be really really hard if you found liners that didn't have the bags and identify what basket they fit they would be very very hard to sell so I I did buy some but I would be very very hesitant to buy them for more than a dollar a piece what i will do with those that are not in bags and not marked as to what basket they go in some of them do have tags stating the basket but if they don't have tags i will probably lot them up in lots of five and just sell as a lot of miscellaneous longa burger basket liners next this is a longa burger fabric 36 inch tablecloth and this one did not have the name, so I didn't know the exact name of the pattern. This one sold in under a week for $12.59, so this one's going to be about a $9 profit. All right, are you ready for the highest profit item going out this weekend? And it is fitting. It is football. NFL just kicked off this weekend, and it is a Cleveland Browns 1960s NFL bobblehead it is by sports specialties i paid about 40 dollars for this guy and he sold for 209 dollars and 30 cents buyer paid 16 in shipping so he's going to be about 130 dollar profit after fees all right up next is some fish little fish ornaments they are blown glass let me be very careful holding these up there are a lot of six of them i did a lot of them up because they're pretty tiny and i sold all six of them for 22 dollars plus the buyer paid six in shipping these are really light they're cute they've got glitter on them and with them being so small i figured it'd be better to lot them up than sell them individually for low prices and they did sell in under a month next is another harley pin this 
Harley pin sold for $22.50. I paid a dollar, so this one's going to be about a $17 profit. It sold in about four months. And then if you have not watched me very long, I get Boxy Charm. They're like a subscription makeup box. And I typically only keep like one to two things a month from them. And then I sell the rest to cover the cost of the box. So whatever I keep is free. I think it's a pretty good trade off. So this Keys Soul Care Illuminating Priming Serum. I got this and one of those. I pay about $5 per item. This one sold for $10, so it's about a $3 profit, and it sold in about three weeks. Next is another item from my Saturday thrifting video over on my other channel, Cat's Treasure Hunting. It's a really, really cute piglet mug, and this did sell really fast. This went to My World Aubrey, and it sold for $10.49. I paid $3. It's really, really cute there. I love the different color inside. It is a Disney Parks and it's going to be about a $5 profit, but it was so cute. I just, I couldn't leave it behind. Up next is a scarf and my daughter actually is working on listing about 50 new scarves. So if you like scarves, we will have some up within the next week. This one is a Chico's. Really pretty, kind of a summery print there with the bright orange this one sold for eight dollars and 25 cents i paid a dollar so this one's about a six dollar profit and that one did take over a year to sell some of my scarves sell fast and then other ones take a little bit longer and then we have another longa burger basket this one's cute more like a traditional picnic basket this one's actually a christmas collection get together and i know that because it says it on this plate here so this one does have the wood lid it also has the fabric liner you can see it is marked on the bottom i paid about ten dollars for this one it sold in under a month for 34.99 so it's going to be about a 20 dollar profit the buyer did pay 11.90 in shipping and then we have another longa burger liner i love these because remember i paid a dollar a piece so this pattern here is trellis rose this is for a 14 inch generation basket and just this liner sold for twenty dollars and 99 cents making it over a 17 dollar profit and it sold in under a month next is another license plate this is a 1939 pennsylvania plate it sold for 15 dollars plus the buyer paid six in shipping took about three months for this one to sell it was one of the first ones i listed and it's going to be about an 11 dollar profit and then and this is not going to the same buyer another of the rose trellis liners this one is for a pantry basket and this one sold for ten dollars making it about a seven dollar profit sold in under a week and then some peach luster plates this is peach luster dinner plates there are four of them and i i will take the paper out and wrap them in styrofoam i will take the paper out and wrap them in a lot of bubble wrap from america bubble roy bubble boy i cannot talk not talk i will wrap him in bubble wrap from american bubble roy i don't know why i can't say that um <laughs> i will wrap them in the bubble wrap and they will go in a number seven box these four sold for thirty dollars and i paid less than a dollar a plate so they're about a 22 dollar profit and they sold in about three months all right that was everything going out for ebay again to those of you who are viewers who purchased thank you so much i greatly appreciate it i do real quick i'm not going to say everybody's name but if you have bought me a coffee thank you so much if you don't know buy me a coffee is a way to tip your content creators so to all of you that have sent me coffees i really really do appreciate you so now we are going to go over the sales from etsy poshmark and mercari i do use list perfectly to cross post i get asked what i use all the time and i do have a code the nurse flipper if you want to try it you can get 30 percent off your first month we have been using it for about two years now my mom actually is the one that does cross posting for me so i really really like it because it's simple and it's really easy to use my mom's not overly computer literate and she's still able to cross post quite a few every day that she comes and works so first up over on Poshmark are these Gore-Tex Harley-Davidson gloves. 
these are my friend Charlene so these sold for $18 Poshmark does take 20% out in fees so this will be about $12 profit and Charlene and I do split it so about six dollars a piece each next is a beautiful cloisonne letter opener this is one of my favorite cloisonne pieces i have found if you do not know cloisonne is when there's that twisted wire in between enamel color this is a letter opener and this one sold over on poshmark for 26 dollars. i paid five so it's going to be about a 14 dollar profit and then some vintage pillowcases. These are fun. They sold in under a month on Poshmark for $18. I only paid a dollar each. And these will be about a $12 profit. And they, they do have stains. They are not perfect. And I did show that in my listing. You can see a couple spots there. And they still sold really fast. They have a really, really pretty scalloped crochet border next is a tile if you do not know this brand learn it i have found quite a few of these at goodwill i also have found some on online auctions the brand is to cedre and they are like native american motif really pretty southwest designs this one sold for 35 dollars on poshmark and it's only four inches so this one does have the nameplate on the back so you would be able to identify it and almost all the ones i found do have that i paid about five dollars for this one so it is going to be about a 25 dollar profit next on poshmark this cute little pumpkin plate and it does have a little tea tiny teacup and a teapot here as well as another cup so it's a little tea set this sold for 23 dollars on poshmark i paid five so it's about a 10 to 12 dollar profit and then our only sale on mercari was this harley hat which is my friend charlene's this harley hat sold for 17 over on poshmark or it sold for 17 over on mercari and it's going to be about a $12 profit so again $6 to Charlene and $6 to me and then there were two Etsy sales and they were really really good sales so first is this really cool vintage tin type look at the coloring on this with the, her jewelry and her cheeks tinted this individual and this does not have a frame nothing it is just the 10 type photo this one sold for 65 dollars over on etsy and it hasn't even been listed for a month and then these watch out for these i have mentioned this brand in some of my research videos this is from Catherine's collection this is Santa and Mr. Claus and here is the tag saying Catherine's collection there and these two sold for $45 for the pair so watch out for Catherine's collection she does different stuff and it can be big big money I only paid two dollars for these kissy kissy fish and I'm trying to find his mouth okay there two dollars for these kissy kissy fish and they are over 35 dollar profit all right that is everything i hope you enjoyed again don't forget to go over to cats treasure hunting join that channel or subscribe turn on the bells i will put out a video every saturday and don't forget to come join us tomorrow night and every tuesday at 8 p.m i'm live with my co-host julian bearded thrift machine and tomorrow we have on sunny las vegas as well as Kristen from a rural squirrel which she has not been on with us before so it will definitely be a fun night and then on wednesday i'm going to give you some updates about my business my life what's going on the new channel there's just a lot going on and a lot changing and i'll kind of explain why and what what i've been going through i've been having some difficulties i'm not going to lie to you and i'm going to talk to you about that on wednesday and then friday we are going to do a research video on tiki stuff so that will be fun for sure so i hope you've enjoyed don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the way out share with your friends if you think they would like it and i will see you tomorrow night